Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. One of my favorite book tropes ever is the small town romance type of book where they are in a small town and they fall in love and it's just really good vibes always. So I thought today I would show you guys my favorite small town romance books um, that I've read so far. I've made a small selection of the books that I really enjoyed. I obviously have more. But these are like my top reads for the small town romance trope. The first one is a book series of five books. I feel like these have been really popular lately and I've been absolutely loving them. I've read the first three and I'm currently on the fourth book and I'm talking about the Chestnut Springs uh, series by Elsie Silver. I've read these three books already, Reckless, uh, Heartless and Powerless and I've got to admit Heartless was my absolute favorite. So all of these books happen in the same town of Chestnut Springs and they all resolve around a particular family, brothers and like friends and sisters. And it's one really big family with all like really cute romance stories. They're cowboy romance as well, at least some of them. This one, Powerless, is not really a cowboy romance, but it also is. I don't know, they all happen like in this rural Can Canadian town. These are honestly the best books I have read in the last year, I think. I've started these a few months back. I don't think I've read a book series as good as this one ever since. Um, obviously my favorite, like I said, is Heartless. I'm currently reading Reckless, which I'm also already loving. I'm it's already like taking the second spot, although I don't think anything can top uh, Heartless. But I really loved Flawless as well and Powerless was really good as well. This one was kind of my least favorite, I guess. But it was still a five star read, so that just shows how good this series is. I would really recommend you read this if you're into the small town romance trope, if you like cowboy romance, if you like, like these standalone books that are connected to each other, this book series is just amazing and it's honestly so well written the stories are so good and original and just perfect the next book i've read a while ago it's also part of a two book du duology uh, which is it happened one summer by tessa bailey i love almost all her books I've, i haven't read them all yet definitely loved all the books that i read from her and this one was particularly one of my favorite this uh, book is about a girl piper who is like this la um, girly you know she's like all girly girl and very into like kind of she's kind of stereotyped as kind of like being a little bit dumb even though she isn't and she and her sister go to a little town where her i think their father is from i don't know i read it a long time ago so i'm not sure and once you're there they're going to open a cafe of sorts and it's this like a uh, sailor's fisherman town and uh, there she meets this guy is Brandon and um, he's just amazing and just their love story is so cute and so amazing and it's definitely like these really good small town vibes it's also really fun to read in summer as well it's very grumpy sunshine so that's also a really good like one of my favorite tropes it's very spicy but I think that's a plus point if you like all these things I'm pretty sure you will really enjoy this book and also the next one Hook, Line and Sinker which is about Piper's sister I forgot her name and um, Brandon's friends they're having like this kind of friends to lovers so I really recommend you read that one as well but first start off with this one the next book is When in Rome which is a really lovely book about a pop star kind of hiding in this small town uh, Rome uh, which isn't Rome, Italy, but Rome somewhere in America. I don't know where it is. Mm. But she hide, wants to hide in like this small town. Or like kind of, it's kind of like a spur of the moment thing. It just happens to her. And she decides to hide out there because she just wants to escape her career and the hectic of her life. And there she meets this guy who owns a pie shop. Which is like ugh, it's so cute. He's like very grumpy. But he owns this pie shop. So it's like... It's like this really sweet and sour thing, but he's just amazing. And their love story is really cute as well. I loved to see her like get more comfortable and kind of change out of her like hectic life into this, this really small town life, which she really enjoyed. And you know, I really think you would love this book if you like a sweet romance with once again, kind of like grumpy sunshine and fame to non-fame kind of type of thing. The next book is for all my Gilmore Girls lovers, which is the Pumpkin Spice Cafe. As you can see by the title, it's very fall vibes. I read this uh, in the past fall and it was just the best fall read ever. It's about this girl who comes from the city and she's going to this small town to take over her, I think it's her grandmother's or aunt's cafe. There she meets a farmer, Logan, and they 
he's very grumpy and she's kind of like determined to go back to the city once her aunt gets back from her cruise or something i think it was or until someone takes over the cafe and she's determined to get back and that is just a temporary position but then she meets logan and, she, and then she completely gets emerged by the small town experience it's very much like city girl turning into a small town girl even more so than the other books uh, because the other books didn't really specifically involve like this girl falling for the town as well maybe a little bit but most of them like already knew it but in this one the girl like completely falls for the town as well and its inhabitants and it's just such an amazing read like i said it has a lot of gilmore girls vibes which is if it's a series you enjoy you will definitely enjoy this one as well it's once again also grumpy sunshine which is amazing and it's also kind of like he falls harder but which is something I really enjoy in books. But then again, she also really falls hard for him. So it's definitely a fun read if you really enjoy these type of things. The next book I want to talk about is Indigo Rich, which is one I read really recently. It's part of this like bigger series. It's the first part of it. And I haven't read the other books yet, but I'm really excited to do so because of how much I love this one. It's also small time romance and it's about this girl who moves to the small town where her grandfather is the mayor and she's a police officer and she becomes like kind of the head of police there and she feels like not really accepted into the town and then she meets this guy who's kind of a cowboy as well so it's also really a cowboy romance they have a one night stand and then they keep on meeting again and kind of falling in love and it's also a murder mystery which is really interesting i really love the twist to this i absolutely love reading murder mysteries and this one did it really well i kind of saw it coming the ending but then again i also didn't but i had my suspicions um, but i really love this it's really fun to like try and figure out what happened in this town and try and work with winslow and see what what really happened and how everything came about the romance is really good as well it's like so good and i definitely think you will enjoy this if you enjoy small town romance cowboy romance and a good murder mystery the last book i want to mention is also a cowboy romance um that i've read recently i've been in love with cowboy romances if you can notice it by this video but this one is done and dusted it kind of have this, has the same vibe as the flawless series but it's oh, it's so good i think there are more books in this series to come as well but this one is so amazing it's about this girl who is a professional horseback rider and she has like gotten into an accident that may has made her afraid to get on top of a horse again and to start riding again so she goes back to her hometown and to her home ranch or farm whatever it is and there is this guy who's like her brother's best friend and he's going to like help her get back onto her horse and get back into her like, previous lifestyle except she doesn't really want it anymore and she wants to continue living in the small town and they fall in love like i mentioned it's brother's best friend which is ugh, one of my favorite tropes as well it's just so good and it's so well written in this one it's kind of like they knew each other from before but she's been away for a few years so they kind of rediscover each other because before she was too young for him he didn't only really saw her as like his not really as his tiny sister but more like as his best friend's annoying little sister but now she's like all an adult and has her own life and has accomplished so many things and they kind of meet in a new light which is something i always really enjoy reading so i really love the um, scene in this as well it's like this ranch um, a lot of horseback riding which is something i really enjoy as well and just the the guy is just amazing he has this he owns his bar as well and he has his own struggles and they both have their own struggles that they have to overcome but they really like help each other and i don't know it's just one of my favorite books i've read in the uh, past few weeks it was also a five star read and one of the best small town romance books i've ever read i think if you enjoy the flawless series you will really enjoy this book as well because it comes really close to it except it's different obviously with different characters and kind of a different scene but it's really amazing as well so that was my list of my favorite small town romance books i really enjoyed reading all of these if you have any more small town romance recommendations please let me know because i'm always looking for new books to read and new books to review and if you haven't read any of these books yet that i just told you guys about i hope you will really enjoy reading them thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you in my next video Bye bye